All right, what is up, my squelch advocate slop here? Back at it again with another daily upload, and you already know what's going on. The Platform Fighter Multiverses has been out for about three, four days now, and if you checked out the sentiment surrounding the game anywhere on social media or online, you would think that it's literally the spawn of Satan incarnate. You go on YouTube, Twitter, Reddit, anywhere where this game is being discussed, you will be met with nothing but unbridled hatred and just nothing but piss and vinegar surrounding literally every aspect of this game. And while I do have a couple issues with some changes that were made since the open beta, there's absolutely no reason this game should be met with the level of despair that it currently is. So today, we're going to discuss the different controversies and main points of contention that the community seemingly has with the full release of Multiverses. So without further ado, let's run that hoe. Alright, first things first, this new character art, like character selection screen, no, ab absolutely not. Just no. I'll flash what it looked like in the beta on screen now, and then we're met with this. They went from this cool, stylized, 2D, like, hand-drawn art style to literally, like, mobile game from 2012 3D character renders. Like, what? But in my opinion, this takes away so much charm from the game and it just it looks so gaudy and look at this render of shaggy what like what more do i need to say this is just ridiculous second point of contention is this event screen and the mission tab the missions are like kind of fine now but they just made this layout so much harder to understand than it needs to be this entire like event page like what am I looking at? I don't, you don't see like the progress for the like pass event or whatever, like for the Joker's Ruse, I've done one of the five tiers. I don't know how many points I needed to get there. I don't know how many points I need to get to the next one. This entire like screen is just, it's, it's infuriating. I'm not going to lie. Like, what is this? Gripe number three, don't mention a character in your launch trailer if there's no way to attain the character in the launch of the game. Also, earn Agent Smith for free two weeks early. What's two weeks early? When does he release? When can we get him? What is, like, what What do you, what even is this? What am I looking at? Gripe number four, how about we take the career tab and then remove everything from it and then put that in the launch of the game? Whose idea was this? There used to be like a huge breakdown of all your different stats and it was like a cool looking HUD UI and now it's literally a big blue page that shows you your recent win rate. Who, what? Gripe number five. Why is there no way to get toasts now or toast people back? You get five toasts a day and there's literally no other way to purchase them even. Like you can't even spend your 500,000 perk points that they gave you to get something that could actually be used for something. Gripe number six, I think? Why is there no way to progress the battle pass other than doing your daily missions? Like, you literally, you want us to get on, do our five or four missions that we get a day that takes a total of, what, five minutes, and then get off because all other matches that we play post doing these dailies there's literally no form of progression or rewards tied to it. You're just like, you're incentivizing people to not play the game. What, like, what are you doing? Gripe 7. Why is the fighter currency so hard to obtain? I understand it's a free-to-play game, and there should be some level of grind to be able to get the characters for free that you would otherwise need to pay for. But I'm not gonna lie, bro. I grinded the first two days of release, like, mad hours, and I literally finished every available weekly and daily and finished the first two difficulties of both rifts. And I still was unable to buy a character. I couldn't play Joker until the third day of the game being released. And I grinded for several hours the first two days. I literally completed everything that was available. And yet I still could not afford the one new character in the game that I wanted to play. Like, yeah, you should have to put in hours to attain new fighters, but they should be attainable. You shouldn't have to wait three weeks for a new set of rifts to unlock your new weekly so that you can claim your mission to get Battle Pass XP, to get the new fighter currency so that you can buy a new character. 
it's just unbelievably ridiculous. Grape number eight or something? Why is this store the way it is? You took the Fortnite item shop you had that was seemingly working, I mean, in my opinion, there was nothing wrong with the store before, and then not only did you remove all form of exclusivity from the items that people grinded for in the beta and put them in the shop, but you also mobile gamified the entire thing and have these just I don't, I don't know, dude. Maybe this is just me, but just seeing these, like, $9.99, 30% off, get your extra value, it just triggers me, dude. Like, have your item for sale for the set amount of cost. None of this, buy now, get the, get quick, quick, the bundle's gonna be off, it's gonna be on sale, you gotta spend your glamium, not, just, it triggers me. Gripe number nine, prestige store. Maybe include more than a skin in it, huh? Oh, you grinded a shit ton in the beta and have a bunch of prestige currency. Well, I hope that you like this one skin for the one new character that you can't even get enough fighter points to get yet, so... Also, you're telling me you took the game offline for over a year and a half, and there's not even one new skin for 75% of the characters? What What is that rationale exactly? So the general consensus online seems to be that they made the game way too slow and way too zoomed in. And while if you actually watch my first initial gameplay video, you can see the first match I played and I kind of said both of those things, I'm not gonna lie. I had to get used to actually reading moves and like punishing people. After putting in quite a few hours though, I will say this slowdown gameplay is just objectively a better game. The game isn't just a straight up spammy dodge fest like it was in the beta. And I was I was a fan of that, but this is just objectively better. It's like an actual fighting game now. You have to fight your opponent. You can't just spam the circle button every time that there's a possibility of being hit. That is one area where I will actually defend PFG. I think a lot of people are just playing one match and then going, this is different than I remember it. Twitter. Which is understandable, but if you just if you just play a few more matches, I think you'll really come around to it and you'll start to love the feel of it. But as far as it being too zoomed in, it's it's not like it's not too zoomed in. It is more zoomed in and I could see it being a problem with like maybe characters like Tom and Jerry, but Literally after an hour of playing, you will never notice the camera zoom again unless you're just thinking about it. Like, in my opinion, it's a bit nitpicky, but at the same time, if a lot of people feel that way, then they should just add an option to zoom the camera out. As far as like net code and connectivity issues, which a lot of people are complaining about, I can't personally speak on. I know they said something about how Xbox was having issues, and I, mean, I use PS5 because I'm not cringe. <laughs> Yeah, so I can't really speak on Xbox problems or connectivity problems in general. I've played probably, I don't know, maybe like 50 or so PvP matches since launch, and I have never stuttered or disconnected one time. Not, not one match did I suffer a frame loss or disconnect from the match, which a bunch of people are bitching about, so... I'm assuming that's probably like a PS4 issue. If you're still on the last gen and you inspect this game to work perfectly, then I think you're a little bit delusional. And I don't mean that as a diss, like if if you don't want the new hardware, then like more power to you. There's no like r there's no need for you to upgrade, but at the same time, you can't expect to have like the top of the line perfect flawless experience on your not top of the line flawed hardware. But yeah, honestly, gameplay-wise, I I don't really have any problems. Like, I'm thoroughly enjoying the new gameplay. I, I, it's solid. Like, I like it. And that leads me to my final gripe number 12 or something. I don't know. What is this? Ranked coming soon? Do you remember what happened last time when you launched a game without ranked and then people begged for it for months and then they quit because you didn't add it? And then you added it for a week, and then everyone got super pissed, and then they quit. And then you added it back like a month later, and then it was just the normal game, but with like a toast rank icon tied to your MMR. Like, what are you doing? Dude, you cannot launch a competitive multiplayer game without a ranked mode. Especially when 
the ranked mode is just your MMR system, but with a toast badge. Like, it's not that complicated. It's not rocket science. Just hit the enable button on ranked. It's, it's mind-blowing. But yeah, I'm definitely forgetting stuff, but those are just the main gripes that I've seen and that I have with the game. This is probably the most heated video I ever have or will posted, so sorry about that. More goofs and gaffs tomorrow. But yeah, there's just been so much discourse surrounding the state of this game on relaunch, so I figured I had to weigh in. Even though I just spent 10 minutes dogging on this game, I will be running it up all weekend, so if you'd like to see that, make sure to like and subscribe. If you think anything I've said is mega-based or mega-cringe, let me know down below, but be warned, I will argue with you. But all that being said, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow. Slop out. You're so skibbity. You're so phantom tax.